How you doing guys? I know it's been two weeks since the last update, so let me fill you in on what you've missed. These last two weeks has been major changes in not only designing the version 2 frame, but ordering the parts. One question I need for you guys off the bat who's interested in this project is the further I work on this design, the more it does not match the Fallout 4 Bethesda game design, because obviously that's a couple hundred years in the future. We don't have that technology and I'm working out of a garage. So let me know if you guys would appreciate a custom slash smudged design of homemade power armor and uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. So let me give you some updates on what's going on. For the, for the knuckle plate, I've decided I'm gonna be using some hinges, just like my previous projects. It's gonna come out to there. It's a more realistic power arm knuckle plate hand but underneath it on this part right here all this metal is going to be removed and replaced with a computer fan probably five inches by four inches all the electronics run into the forearm that's one thing i plan to do is have every piece of electronic in the forearm for maximum protection now the reason why i'm putting a computer fan on there is because on the inside here for the fingers just square tubing by the way there's motors that are going to be mounted on the inside here each one of these motors can pull 40 to 50 pounds of max load so hopefully the plan is I can set this up to be wired to one switch to the bottom and a little mount where the hand manipulator is I can flip a switch and it crushes the entire palm another design I'm doing is the wrist part is frail and needs to be redesigned so I've ordered roller bearings to replace this entire part can take at least a couple hundred pounds load without showing any damage or resistance so that's a good upgrade needed and each and every single one of these fingers is going to have two lines of wench wire run into it the reason why it's going to be two two lines is one line in itself it's going to be connected up here it's going to run all the way down through the wrist to the finger manipulators so you can move the hand freely without being hindered by the motors that's going to be the second line second line is going to run down the other side it's going to stop right about here once i design a spindle mechanism i can wrap it around this part right here but apart from that i show you guys the basics what you need for this project obviously a welder $90 welder will do the trick doesn't matter what you do as long as you can properly weld make sure it's all good and apart from that the rest of this is 3 16th plate cut out if you guys are interested I can design a template to every single one of these dimensions so you can build this yourself if you're interested and apart from that, the only other thing is I'm currently building the elbow and the bicep area. And that's a little trickier than I thought. I'm going to have to order some springs that's going to attach to the shoulder part. And it's going to run down to the bottom bicep that will give you the assistance to lift this entire thing easily when it's done without the motors. The entire project hopefully can be built with as least electronics as you can or as I can but we'll see what happens with that and apart from that like comment subscribe let me know what you guys think about this I know it's been uh, tough not posting as much as I want to but certain aspects of my life has been challenging when it comes to dedicating time for this project also another thing I realized the fingertips work perfectly with these female bat wings Just weld that right up on there and seal it off gives it the nice edge tip okay so you guys have a good day let me know what you guys think hit me up on instagram is probably the only way you can communicate with me if you have any ideas uh it's the same name xander marriott without a space so later